So the core values are like this, like amazing, uh, you know, team member that that you don't have to pay pay money to, but like they help you make all these decisions and, and whatnot. It seems like a win. It, yeah, you only have to pay them when you don't use them. So there you go. Oh, I like that. I like that. It's quotable. <laughs> now, how have your core values? How do you hire based on those? How do you how do they help you attract the right people? Uh, talk about that kind of you know recruiting, hiring, training, onboarding process in terms of core values. Sure. Um, so I still do. I still do the hiring um, pretty directly, ninety percent of the time. Um, I honestly like. We have a few minute conversation about like experience and skill level, and then I get gut wrenchingly honest. These are our core values. This is what we live and die by. This is the full expectation of you. I, you know, if if you can't do these things, don't take this job. And it's okay if you can't. It's cool if you're not a this. Or, and it's okay if you say, look, I'm 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 not sure I can do these perfectly right now, but I'm super willing to learn. I'll work with that too. I use a lot of my. I've been doing this for a while. The core value thing consistently, where I I, I operate a lot on instinct in the hiring process. Now, as far as retaining people, like I said, people who don't fit weed themselves out, they, they just stop showing up, which is great. We haven't had that happen in a while. Um, now branding it. Um, I don't talk about the core values on social. I don't post about the core values specifically. What I do post though, is I post team profiles where we go. Our core values are very loud in our branding on social media, especially here mm -hmm. locally. Um, I post team profiles. I post staff meeting pictures. My team sang me happy birthday and took a video of me blushing. We post that up. On Valentine's Day, one of my project manager's girlfriends sent him Chick-fil-A as a happy Valentine's Day delivery. We posted that. It was adorable. It was awesome. We post team building and training, and this is this guy learning how to do this. And what that does is it attracts the most recent hire we have, an assistant project manager. Um, it attracted him. He sent us a Facebook message that basically said, I've been looking for a company like yours my entire life. Can I please come in for an interview? Whoa. This guy's been in construction for 20 years. He's got tons of experience. He was super nice. He's been with us three or four weeks now, and he fits perfectly. Staff is super glad he's on board. But when he came in for the interview, he was like, I've spent my whole career getting berated, yelled at, cussed at, underpaid, overworked. He's got a daughter. He was like, you know... I just want to take my daughter to school in the morning and be able to get her by 5:30 for for daycare and like there's not a job on the planet that's even been willing to talk to me about that. And I looked at him and said, I, "If you're taking your kid to school and picking her up, I literally don't give a shit what time you come in and leave. I really yeah. don't. I don't care. I have two kids. I have like why why are my expectations of myself different than I think yours should be of yourself? Why? Why should, why do you not get to be a dad?" Cause you work and I own it, man, fuck that. I don't like that. I don't like it. And I think that men who prioritize their children over anything else are the kind of men I want working for me. That's the 100%. kind of man I want to work with. That's the, the other thing I say in the Monday morning meeting on the back of the core value email, it literally says these core values are a representation of me as the owner. And these core values make you a winner. And I refuse to hang out with fucking losers. And if you work at this company, you have to be a winner cause you're automatically in my circle. And I control who's in my circle. And they're like, love it. They love it. They love, everybody loves being a winner. So, but that attracted him to us. It's the same thing with the subcontractors. Now, now subs are, you know, most subcontractors start because we pay more. Just being honest. Most subs are yeah. like, oh, your pay scale is better than everybody else. I'm in. But they stick around because we're awesome. Because my project managers are communicative. They're up front. They show up on time. They don't ignore phone calls until 10 o'clock in the morning and then roll into unlocked doors. You need a door unlocked at 6? We'll unlock the door at 6. Like, do you see what I'm saying? The, yeah. the subs feel it too. Um, right. But their onboarding is a little different. You usually convince them to come on by being like, I'll pay you $2 more a square foot. And they're like, done. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess but we go over. Rat, right? Well, like, well that's yeah. Good... We go over core values with that. Like, we're very clear. We had a sub who we let go of, honestly, recently, who wouldn't communicate properly. And, and core value number one is communicate proactively. And one of my designers sat down with him and was like, look, man, we need you to crush it. But right now you're rushing it without the community. And I, and I was like, I was like, mine, that was like the most incredible little quip. I've, that was like awesome. Not planned at all. It was, it was yeah. incredible. But it was true. And we, had, we let him go 
though his quality of work was fine, um, he was your average everyday subcontractor. Didn't fit our core values. We ditched him and hired three more. That's how that's how clear cut this is for us. I don't care awesome. your quality of work. Well, I yeah, do, you, but you know, if, if you tolerate that, then other people see the other subs see other team members see that, and they're like, "Well, Sam is just you know letting that guy have a fly or letting him have a pass on that." Like, all right, core values aren't that important anyway, right? Yeah, so you've well, got to hold that hold that standard. Yeah, and and also remember like. Your project manager is running a project with the subcontractor. Your project manager makes probably a salary plus a bonus on job completion. Subcontractor is making a ton of money on these big projects. So your project manager, who you are requiring to live by a set of standards, is making X and watching the sub who isn't required to live by anything, making double, triple. What, what kind of standard are you setting? And I tell my guys all the time, we pay these people good money, they will live by these core values or they will go. And like the project managers respect that. The helpers respect, everybody respects that. You know, it's not like a competition of pay for anybody, um, but they like knowing that that's, that's the judge and jury right there. That is awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So many times, like we've all been part of organizations where, you know, there's, there's this like in, in fighting and there's this like jealousy and like people talking behind people's backs. And that just is like a cancer that, that ultimately just like holds a company back. And like, it, you can't have that. You got to cut that out as soon as you get it or even better, uh, not, not have that in the first place by having these core values to kind of guide everyone that everyone can live by. Yeah. And we've, I've been there too. So like this hasn't been a six year progression of perfection and core values and discipline and beauty and wonder and ultra year over year growth. I mean, we, we've hit walls with infighting and toxicity. I do this because I learned the hard way. What happens right. when you don't and look, man, I mean, we grew, we, we grew at times of toxicity and cancer, but I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get guys right. to show up on time. I couldn't get jobs done. Pro I wasn't fulfilling the expectations to the customer. I wasn't happy. I wasn't living in integrity with myself. I wasn't treating my wife properly because of it. I wasn't treating my kids properly because of this was all, it all comes back full circle and you will grow a little slower doing stuff like this, but you'll, we, I mean, consistency, discipline, and patience, man, you'll hit a stride where your business will, will start to grow without your permission if you do this properly and you got to catch up to it.